What's up everyone? Welcome back for yet another TikTok compilation. Why am I doing TikTok compilations? Let me repeat it again. We are getting married very soon and we're moving into a house and we wanna make sure you guys can have access to all of my helpful volleyball TikToks just in case TikTok gets banned. So here you go, enjoy. Y'all asked for some more volleyball tips and here we're gonna work on some passing. The reason I don't have spandex or knee pads on is because I was just done coaching. Shout out Virginia Volleyball Academy. Now it's key to note that everyone has a different philosophy for passing. Some coaches want you to move your arms and some coaches don't. Some coaches want you to use your legs and some coaches don't. Putting that aside, it's really important to make sure you get your feet to where you need to be before you put your platform together. I see a lot of young volleyball players chasing after balls with their hands already together. It's really important to set up behind the ball and then put your platform together. For these balls, I was running from the end line, so you can't really see, but I waited to put my platform together. The best advice I can give for diving is focus on passing the ball first before hitting the floor. Notice on this one how I beat the ball to the spot and then I let myself hit the ground. Y'all asked for it, here we go, some overhand serving tips. I think it's important to have a pre-serve routine. I like to bounce the ball two to four times, and I start with my hand all the way back and stretched all the way open. It's important that when you contact the ball, you have a stiff hand and you contact it at the highest point above your head. Notice also how I completely follow through with my swing most of the time. <laughs> my follow through normally differs depending on the type of float or the type of speed that I'm going for. Also notice I don't really throw the ball that high. I do see some girls who start out who throw the ball super high. I played Division 1 and I can't even hit the ball like that, um, so I keep it just high enough for me to get a good contact on it. Lastly, I want you guys to notice my feet. I really only take two steps. I start with my left and finish through with my right. Remember, never underestimate the importance of practice. The more reps you can get, the better. Hey guys, so I was just going through my Instagram DMs and someone asked an awesome question about this video, how I caught the ball on my platform. So I'm gonna show you guys how I did it. I saw some other people doing it and I realized that I didn't explain it well enough. So a lot of people are like catching it and like widening their arms. I don't know if any of you pass a volleyball like that, but I don't. The ball is resting on top of my arm. Your arms flat together, the ball landing like right there. The trick is to move down with the ball at the same speed. Okay, so without moving my arms, that's what they look like. Why am I sweating? <laughs> it's that time of year again, ladies and gents. High school volleyball tryout season. And a lot of you have been asking me what I recommend wearing. So let's get into it. Let's start with our top. A tank top, to be exact, if your school allows it. But the safest bet is always a t-shirt. I like myself some dry fit. And now for spandex. I like black or navy. Those are classic colors. And make sure you are wearing shorts when you are outside of the gym. Whoa, 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 hold on. You're not ready yet. You need to get socks on. Crew socks. Yes, those. Remember, one does not wear volleyball shoes outside of the gym. Get yourself some hype sneakers. Maybe ones that match your uh, water bottle. And lastly, don't forget your water bottle. I like these hydro jugs because they're huge and they're cute and I can coordinate them with my outfits. Want some more trial tips? Good thing I've got a YouTube channel. As always, don't forget to do it and keep to it. Good luck. You guys have given me a lot of requests for recommendations on volleyball shoes and volleyball knee pads. We're gonna start with knee pads, mainly because I found this hilarious picture that has all of the knee pads that I would recommend. Notice me, just, just letting that ball go, cause uh, you know, we be like that sometimes. Starting with my knee pads, these were knee pads from Nike. I liked them a lot, I thought they were pretty durable, they stuck on my knees pretty much, no complaints there. Sorry, Taylor. Um, these were Under Armour knee pads. These were the knee pads that we used in college. Ours just had like black designs on them. These were my favorite knee pads ever, just ever. They were really durable and I just like the fabric more than other knee pads. Sorry, Macy. These were the Infinity knee pads. I like these a lot because they've come in a pack of black or white, depending on what your team wears. You can switch them out, one for practice, one for games. They have a little orange slider that you can stick in. Really good, but the orange slider falls out sometimes. And of course, with Skylar, you can't go wrong with the Mizuno. It's always a classic, no complaints. I know this has been long awaited, but here are some volleyball shoe recommendations. Just so you guys know, this is where I started. These were skater shoes, not volleyball shoes. 
So get yourself some volleyball shoes. I got made fun of a lot. These shoes, oh, you can't see them, hold on. These shoes, Mizunos, are very popular for a good reason because they are consistent, they are durable. I would normally buy a new pair every single year if no one was giving me shoes, like if my club or my college wasn't giving me shoes. These are the shoes of choice for me if I'm paying. But if my club is paying, they would get us these Nike shoes. We were an all Nike team, so it was pretty cool. I like matching. I wore these shoes pretty often, but I am gonna be honest, I have very wide feet and Nike shoes are made for people with more narrow feet unless you ask for them wide. So these shoes would make my feet go numb a lot. And finally, my college shoes, which I love, these Under Armour ones. It's a better look at them. They're good, they're durable, 10 out of 10. There are more options, but I just haven't worn them.